Like, who is the best pole cat thrower that I know? Wait a minute. Dude, let me call him up real fast. Yo, Eric, is there any way I could convince you to come play a uh, <laughs> pole cat only round with me in Calera? Actually, I'm pulling in right now. Pole cat gang? What is up, YouTube fam? Robbie C here. Today, we are going to talk about one of, honestly, the weirdest molds that exist in the disc golf world, and that is the polecat. For those of you unfamiliar with the polecat, it is an extremely flat rim, almost feels like the top to like a massive pickle jar. There are tons of people who have thrown a polecat and absolutely love it, and then other people have thrown the polecat and been like, nah fam, definitely not for me. Today, we decided to head south of Birmingham to Calera, Alabama, and I called up one of my friends who is one of the best polecat throwers I know. You may recognize him on Instagram is Disc Golf Insight. So I hope you guys enjoy this round of Eric and I out there trying to tear up the course <laughs> with just a pole cat. Pole cat high five on the camera. Here we go. Bang. Boop. Pole cat gang, baby. Go. Go. Made it over that little bit. Woo! Circle on, baby. <laughs> Stable up on us. Yeah, that's a putt, that's a putt, that's a putt. Start us off with a bank. Oh, no! <laughs> Trash man to many, save the planet, save some strokes. I throw my precious child down the right side and let it kind of yeah. just fade at the end. I don't think this is going to do that. There's like at least one tree to hit out here. So we're going to try to not. Nope. I mean, it's a great shot. Miss that one. I should That's fine then. I think I'm hanging right. I'm going to try to go keep it on high. Yeah, go for it. Please do. Polecat gang. Hey, little polecat, please. One, that one vine right there. Vine is not dead. It is fully alive and it's saving our strokes. All right, that's a putt. That's a putt. There are some trees on this one. There are the one or two trees. Little oh. circle two, probably circle three. Trash Panda Mini. Here we go. Trash Panda Mini. Literally just said it, and this guy's calling me. That's scary. How you know, Jesse? How you know? Jesse, will he get a birdie? Get that. Oh! <laughs> I would have had it if Jesse hadn't distracted me with the phone call. Jesse, uh, what's up with that, man? This one's on you. That was since you ran it. I have to. There is, there is not like water that you can go a bee in, but there is a little ditch right behind it, That okay. just so you know. I'm still running it. He's still running it. down. Ooh. Safe, baby. Safe. I'm happy with that bogey. Hey. Yeah, it's one of those, like, if you get down there on your drive, you're never really, like, upset about it, really but you're not. 304 feet par four. You'll see why in a second, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, just just pure it. You barely threw that and, yeah. Smack the fence. I mean, you're huge. Get oh. over it. I could be in some trouble. We're gonna like try to hold this. Perfect. Oh, that's a good shot. 
patent is no longer pending. Woo! You now own it. Can you see me? Yeah, I got you. I got you. Alright, we're gonna do a little, we're gonna do something. Don't roll. This is an unnatural situation. Alright. Oh my, you wanna talk about I own the patent. No, he came in and said, I've got more money, I'm buying it to do. Come on, baby. <laughs> didn't put enough height on it, which means that we didn't get there. Oh my gosh. Bank. This guy. Nailing it. We're living above par right now. <laughs> hey, that's fine, that's fine. We're throwing polecats, so. <laughs> okay, gang. 450 to that white sign out there. We're literally just trying to make sure that the polecat is not in the woods on the left. It's definitely further right than I wanted to do, I'm, but it's I'm, fine. I'm gonna actually do a run up with this one. Eyes are flipping. Oh yeah, that's nice. That's 108 nice. feet. Bye Kaiser Polecat good. Go in the gap. I have no idea. Maybe it'll be good. Yeah, yeah, I think you're gonna be fine. Yeah. I still hit that tree, just not the part that I thought it would. Love it, I love it. Oh, don't roll. I got a good feeling about this one. Probably from 40. Get up. Oh, Airball, baby. Oh. No Steph Curry. This is definitely one that feels more musket y sure. than any other one so far. Because you can't really tell from your angle, but it's really tight on the right side. One yeah, the vines I'm have at... not been kind to him. Right. They're like, get on TikTok, dude. That's where we're at. That, uh, that big tree, probably about center frame, just gonna hope that it's gonna turn around it. Yeah. Oh! There's the kick. The tree giveth, the tree giveth, take it away? How's it go? That was <laughs> giveth. So we're, uh, we're, we're poking and hoping a little bit. Go in. Take it, it's a putt. That's a putt. Ooh, unless you want to throw a forehand. Yeah, see, that's what I'm looking at. Step on forehand. Yeah, I'm thinking. We're just going to channel full ultimate days. He's making a break. He's making a break. He's making a break. Oh my gosh. Right off the defender's hand. Tree direction, baby. <laughs> There it is. Good stable, man. <laughs> you 
you imagine the post? You're right here. So that's the shot I'm gonna take. It's not the traditional shot for this hole. This would probably be, be easier if I was throwing a forehand up there. Yeah. But yellow. Miss it. It's gonna be a uh, it's gonna be a tough par from there. I am not gonna do the Robbie gap. I am going to try to hit this center gap. And since it's downhill, hopefully it gets a little stable at the end. Yeah. I'm not really putting well, so I gotta get it close. Yeah. He agrees. Oh, right in the middle of him. Robbie's getting creative here. It's definitely good. Oh, that might have made it. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, you got this. Yo, Ricky. I'm coming for you. <laughs> the world doesn't want the KC Polecat. The world wants one thing, Annabelle. Let's rack that Polecat counter up one more time because it's a Halo Polecat world. Uh, I want to take a quick second from the Polecat Madness to talk about today's video sponsor, otbdiscs.com. Buying discs online can feel often like a bit of a gamble, not knowing if it's going to have a dome or going to be a little too stiff. OTB solves all of those problems. If you're looking for the best option in online disc golf retail, look no further than otbdiscs.com and use code RCDiscGolf at checkout to save yourself with some free shipping. Now let's head back to the Join That Polecat gang, shall we? Seven, whole breakdown. What's up, Robbie C fans? 399 feet. You go up a hill to begin, a little bit left, and then you got a gap so if you can just get something out into the open beat a couple trees on your upshot maybe have a birdie look this is one you feel good with a four on at least if you're throwing only a pole cap out there in the open i like it oh yeah i feel like i'm gonna have to like stall this thing yep okay push that's a pretty flight pole cats guys Find them, get them, Innova. Halo. What are you trying to make me do? <laughs> Simon line? <laughs> I cannot not throw the Simon line for a casual polecat round. All right, we're gonna do it. Simon line, totally unnecessary, but actually maybe a good play right now. Yeah, how do you avoid gaps? Throw over all of them. Jumper, Anheuser guy. Oh yeah, train trying to razz me. Don't matter. So stable. So stable. <laughs> Nothing like a little lean out forehand. Bang. Back on from the knee. Yeah, it's patent pending. No Pole cat. So I'm probably gonna just try to get 250 out of this, give myself a good second shot. Oh, that needs to turn. That is like great. It. That is like great. It. I don't know why, I just got nerves for a second. Just... It's because I think I'm really falling in love with this disc. This is literally the only polecat I own, and I asked him to bring two because of this hole. Like, this has been living rent-free in my head since I asked Eric for this. Robbie is leaving with this pole cap. It's He's in love with it. We're gonna make sure he doesn't lose it. We'll call her Beatrice. Oh, Beatrice, be good. Perfect. That's for all you Beatrice fans out there. So you got Precious Child, Beatrice. What else has name? Okay, <laughs> backhand turnover. I hit that gap in the sky last time for Simon. Same line here, just not so high. I'm just not so high. Too tight, but I got lucky. Hey, it's up there. It's up there. That's a putt. That's a putt. We're putting, baby. Stop. 
Stop turning. Obstructed putt. It's up there. It's up there. We up there. Well, this is awful, guys. Uh, there is a literal wall of trees. Heimberg over the top. I like it. You're tapping in. Tapping it in, baby. I haven't had a birdie all day, I don't think. Get there, baby. Woo! DX Polcat, get you one. Get you one. Bang. All right. We're going to add up the scores real fast so that way we know where we stand. We're going the whole nine. So we're up yep. one. One hole to play. Let's go. Just short of 900 feet to go. 873 feet. It's straight out there. But we're throwing polecats. We're going like 250 at a time. We're going to really rip them out here. Come on. <laughs> slightly uphill, too. Sli the slightly uphill, literally the whole way. Definitely more overstated. We are uphill. <laughs> so I'm just gonna try to see if I can go turnover the whole way and if it's actually gonna fade out. That's a great line. The wind wasn't helping you much, but you're in the middle. Hey. Nice putt. Polecat gang. Make sure you go follow Eric, Disc Golf Insight on Instagram, Disc Appreciate Golf it. Insight on YouTube. Thanks for coming. Polecat high five, close it out. Absolutely. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great week. And for now, I'm going to leave you with the birdie.